Lions TV, this is your first pre-match prediction of the season for tomorrow's away trip to Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. It's hell of a slap, it's four or five hours to get up there, but after one, we'll be making a journey. Let's take a look at the 11, that will start a match. No signings on transfer deadline day, I'm expecting absolutely no surprises. Jordan Archer in goal, Marlon Romeo at right back, the one from down under, James Meredith at left back, central defence pairing of Jake McCooper and Sean Hutchinson. The man they call Jed Valar on the right midfield, the onion bag on the left. Giorgio Saville with the Juan Williams alongside him. Up front, the deadly duo, the veterans, Lee Gregory and Steve Morrison. Is that the 11 that I would pick? Barring the goalkeeper, yes. It's like a broken record with me. But I've got to be honest with you, I thought Welsh well, looked shaky last week. He wasn't at fault directly for either goal, but he came for a cross and dropped one. And I just think it's a shame we're going to actually wait for him to make a mistake before... Amos gets his chance, but make no mistake, he, he will make that mistake at some point. But yeah, other than that, we'll go out to Blackburn. Uh, I think Harris will be looking for the defence to tighten up, especially after last week. I, I can't work out what happened last week. It, you know, there isn't any inexperience of playing together. They're used to playing together. I just think it was maybe a lack of match fitness. Maybe they just couldn't get them over that line for that last scene. It, it was a boiling hot day, but we look fantastic going forward. And, and I'm excited to see how many goals Gregors can get this year. I think. We will rely heavily on Gregor's last this year, and his all-round great game is superb. It was last year, and I think this year he's going to add the goals to that. But he will park tomorrow. I'm able to see a few of you there. I don't think there's there's not many people I know personally going. I'm going on my own. Really, no mate. So, oh, I'm wrong, and I hope we take a few up there. But only time will tell. Moving on to the opposition, Blackburn Rovers, managed by Tony Mowbray. They came up last season. Obviously, they spent one year. In League One, they come up second behind Wigan with 96 points. They're a massive club, Blackburn, down the years. Some of you younger lot might not know, but they won the Premier League once upon a time. Alan Shearer playing up front for them. But they, they've, been in, they've been in turmoil the last few years, but they seem to be on their way back up. They've made a few good signings. I, I, think, they'll be, I think they'll be expecting three points against us. In, in their eyes, I think we'll be one of the lesser sides of the division, even though we all know we're not. And I think that they'll be looking, they'll be looking for three points tomorrow at home against us. They drew on the opening day of the season, 2-2, away at Ipswich. So their first home game, back in the championship. They'll be looking to do the business against us tomorrow. The one to watch, it pains me to say it because he looks like a huge chipmunk. His name is Bradley Dack. We know him well. He's a Bexley boy. He got sent off against us last time he played against us, which was for Junior at the Den, for a two-footed tackle on Ben Thompson. So there'll be no love lost there. But yeah, he's a fucking good player, let's have it right. He signed for Blackburn in the summer last season from Gingham and, and he, set the, he set the league one on fire last year. He's got 18 goals in 42 games. He's a good, good player and he'll be the one to watch tomorrow at Eagle Park. So here we go, it is prediction time. I think, we, oh, what do I think? It's a tough one. I think, I think there could be goals in it, but I think we'll concede goals. Um, I am going to go, I'm going to go for it again. Another 2-2 two -two draw with Lee Gregory and Jed Wallace to get our goals. And to be honest, I'll be happy with that point. I don't think a lot of teams will go to Blackburn this year and have a great deal of joy. They'll be looking to prove a point, having been newly promoted on and off the pitch, the players and the fans. And a point for me at Ewood Park, I'll take that all day long. So that's your lot for the first pre-match prediction of the season. I hope you're enjoying the new set. I used a hammer yesterday for the first time in about four years and smashed my thumb up. Which one was it? That one. So yeah, but didn't do a bad job. Big thanks to our sponsors, 60 Shades of Clean, Neon Creations, Imperial Ductwork, and 60 Shades of Light. All the links to our new sponsors are in the description below. Please check them out because they're all Mill fans. We all love each other out, eh? We're all Mill, will me? I'll see you tomorrow in Ewood Park, Blackburn Rovers, if you are going. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.